Welcome back, welcome back to another five minute delay of education. So, one of the most important things in the game of Seven Days to Die is your brass. And, well, it's not exactly the easiest thing to find. It is not difficult by any means, but you'll understand if you play the game. So, these are some of the things you need to look out for if you're in buildings. Look up, look, look up. There you go. You'll see these up on ceilings. You'll see these out on front of doors. You'll see the nice brass fixtures in the houses. Those are the two different kinds. So yeah, that's that's the main of your out outdoor brass. But then there's also this. This is what brass looks like in its melted down look. Uh, you can find the brass door knobs. You can find brass candlesticks, you can find brass trophies, brass car radiators, and if you don't ever use the 9mm or the 10mm, I always use the 7.62, uh, 7 so I'm always sniper rifle or uh, AK-47, so I usually melt these down as well for brass. Now, in the long run, you can, here I'll just take a stack to show you. See, oh, son of a bitch. Hey, that's a few. All right. So, just to give you an idea, I'm gonna take one of these. Okay. So I'll take it and I'll scrap it, and we get one. Now we're just gonna come over here, and we're gonna take another one and we're gonna put it into the forge. 10 brass. So now if I come over here, you get two. Okay? So you'll always get more by melting it melting the pieces down directly into the forge, which is in the in an overall there it, it is actually quite a bit different. Uh, it makes quite a bit of difference between the two. So you have to keep that in mind. Um other than that, yeah, it's uh, it comes down to that. Just keep your keep your eye open for these right here because most of the time you're gonna end up finding these on on the outside of buildings. And if you do see these on the outside of buildings, ah, uh, you have a really good chance that you'll find these also in the buildings and the faucets. So and let these stockpile. Don't always build them up. Uh, don't always break them up right off unless you're in dire need of bullets. Let them build up so you don't have to continuously come back and constantly use your forge. You know, use it when you have a little stack. Um, car radiator is only stacking five, so you don't have to really worry about that too much. But other than that, that that's what you have to pretty much look for. Uh, don't be afraid to, you know, melt down bullets. Because if you're not going to use them, there's no point in having them in your inventory. And that's just the honest truth. Uh, so yeah. Always keep in mind, putting them in the forges will give you more. That's an obvious, but that means you'd have to carry, like, I've gone on trips where I've come back with three of these, four of these, two of these, four of these, and a bunch of bullets. So that's going to take up a lot more space than, you know, just one stack. So it all, it all, all comes down to your personal preference. If you prefer breaking stuff down, well, break stuff down. If you don't want to break stuff down, well, fill your inventory, do more runs. That's completely your call. You have If you have the mini bike by that time, even better. But other than that, that's, uh, that's what you're pretty much looking at. So, yeah, so keep your eye open for these because these will signify houses that have the um, brass on the interior. And if you're in the... Um, in the wasteland with like the broken buildings, the half buildings, uh, a lot of the partially broken down buildings where it's only two walls, you will have these kind of faucets. You will have the brass. So keep that in mind. And I think I'm going to call it here. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? Is there anything else I'm forgetting? Uh, no, no, I really don't think that I really don't think. So yeah, cover that, cover that, cover that, cover that, cover that, cover that. Nope. So that shall be it, my friends. And uh, see you next time for a five-minute episode. Bye.